Welcome back. So in this lesson we're going to be tracing this area on our newly projected uh, screen grab. Um, so the first thing we need to do is new shapefile layer, which is this button here. So we click on that. You want it to be a polygon. OK that. And I'm going to call it KRG Trace. Save that select it and then click on the edit button the little pencil so that turns on these tools here so this is the add feature tool which is essentially what we're doing we're adding a feature to the map now i'm going to do this very quickly um, because it takes quite you can be as deep as um, particular as you want you can zoom right in and be really detailed but i'm just showing you how to do it um, so i just want to do it as quickly as possible so let's just uh Oh, clicked on the zoom tool there, my mistake. Zoom out. So click on the add feature, and then basically you're going to trace around the outline. I'm going to do it very quickly, like I said, not very accurately. It's going to be very blocky, but I just want to show you how to do it, and you can then do it as detailed as you want. But I'm just going to do it very quickly. Now what you don't need to do is go all the way around this border here because what we're going to do is we're going to take our polygon and clip it to this shape which we already have which is the outline of the rack. So get to the border here and then just click on the outside go all the way around the edge and on the last point what you need to do is hold down the control key and then click and what that will do is it will bring up this. What you need to do is give it an ID, it has to be a number so I'm just going to call it 1 OK, and that's your polygon created now on your shape file layer. So click on the toggle editing button, save. So now you have your polygon on there ready to go. Now I just want to show you something you can do. If you want to fine tune the position of the dots that you've added, it's very simple. So click back on the edit button and zoom in and use this tool here. This is called the node tool and what that allows you to do is move points around so you can click on a point and when it goes blue it means it's highlighted and you can basically drag it around so click on a point using the node tool and just drag it yeah click and drag if you want to add another point say you wanted to add another point between these two here just double click and it'll add another point in then you can move that so if i want to add one here just double click and it adds a point in and you can move it simple as that so you once you've drawn your tool your uh, polygon you can still go back and edit it it doesn't have to be do it once and that's it you've only got one chance at it okay so I'm going to save that and now what we want to do is to clip this shape to our country which we already have of Iraq so I'm just going to turn the raster layer off so we can see what we're doing. Now the first thing you want to do is go to country polygons layer which is where our country for Iraq is and use this select tool here. So just click on it and then click on Iraq and that will make it go bright yellow. So now we've got Iraq selected what we want to do is go to vector geo processing tools and clip. Now what this is going to do is bring up a dialog box so the input vector layer is the one we're going to clip it to. So in this case, we're going to clip it to the shape of Iraq. So choose country polygons, which is the layer that Iraq is on. Use the only selected features. Make sure this is checked because we only want to clip it to the selected country of Iraq. And then the clip layer is going to be the KRG trace, which is the one that we have just drawn. Okay. Now what it's going to do is it's going to create another shape file. So click on browse and I'm going to call it KRG Polygon. Save that and add result to canvas. So what that will do is it will create the shape file and add it straight to the canvas. So hit OK and there you go, it's done it. Right there in green. So we can turn our trace layer off and just, just click off our Iraq layer and there we can see it our lovely new KRG region is now clipped to the shape of Iraq 
And that's it, it's that simple. Obviously you can then go in and style it however you want to style it, move it down underneath the boundary lines so it's in the same place as the state polygons. And so you get the borders through it and then style it however you want. Okay, I hope that was pretty straightforward.